let's talk about leaders in followership. You know, one of the reasons why High Life Foundation, led by, you know, Mishis Masiwa, led by ZK, myself, the other leaders that we have, you know, the strong leaders that we have in our regions, you know, we've got Raymond uh, leading uh, the Southern region, we've got Chai leading uh, the uh, Eastern region, and we've got Obed looking after the Central region. Um, you know, we've got uh, Cynthia looking after Burundi, we've got Kaibe looking after um, you know, Lesotho. Um, you know, the success that uh, we, we have been going through in the work that we do is because of the leadership. Leadership determines the power and the quality of the followers. Leadership determines the mentality of the followers. Leadership influences the morality of the followers. Leadership determines the attitude of the followers. Leadership determines the commitment. You know, Hala Foundation, we've got people that will tell you, you know, in Hala Foundation, we've got anti petty. A lot of you, you know, anti petty. Commitment. You know, if you want, if, if you have ever wanted to use the word the paragon, which means the example, you know, the epitome of commitment of a follower, right? Of following right leadership and being becoming a high quality leader follower. You see it in Antipet. A lot of you, you know, she's got the story of her life foundation from the beginning. And she's still in it, Guide, guiding us through the values, keeping everybody in check with the values, you know, being the accountability partner of everybody in the organization to make sure that we've got our hands on the plow and we're looking straight ahead. So you, in your community, you can actually be the leader who starts getting rid of the rubbish in your community. You can be the one who starts bringing the, the required values, the discipline that we need to build this Zimbabwe, this Africa towards a prosperous 2050. If you are sitting on the sidelines and hoping that somebody else is gonna do it for you, I'm asking you today, join in, come on board, come on board, meet yourself, meet the real you, the one that was given that seed of dominion, that seed of leadership that is in you, come on board. You and I are the ones that we've been waiting for. You have been waiting for yourself to manifest. You've been waiting for you. You know, some of the things that make some of us not think that we are leaders is because of the institutions that we've gone through. So at your school, you know, there's the headmaster, deputy headmaster, the head teachers, the teachers, and then you've got the head, head boy, head girl, deputy head boy, deputy head girl, prefects, class monitor, and you've never had a position and you think that that means you're a follower. No, that is a man design system. It does not take away the leader in you. Just because you've never been a prefect, just because you've never been a class monitor, just because you've never been a, pre a head boy, just because you've never been given a position of authority, does not mean that you're not a leader. You know, you know, you know, you know, when when Cyclone Idai happened, remember I said to you that I'll be bringing in, you know, issues that are to do with the Life Foundation that you can actually see how you can get connected with what I'm talking about. When Cyclone Idai happened, okay, the army was the first organization, organized group of people to get into Chimani Mani, Chipinge uh, area. The second group of organized people to get into Chimani Mani, 
Chipinge Cyclone Idai area was the Econet group. It was not Dr. Mboweni who was out there. It was not Mrs. Masiwa who was out there. It was not even Dr. Mbaiwa who was the first to be out there. Leaders in a position in the Nhala Foundation, like Augustine Savano, was the first one, the first team with Pastor Love Mo to be out there set up camp, put up a tent where all the food, all the donations, everything that it was being brought through by Zimbabweans and other world wishes, all those infrastructures was put there by people that just took leadership. And once that was established, others started following. And we even set the tone of the seriousness in which people were actually coming through to assist. I want you to step out and lead. Remember, it's not about authority, it's not about power. It's about attitude. It's about being a responsive leader. It's about a leader that is willing to sacrifice to serve. You can't walk in and out of your community day in and day out. You jump the, 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 the rubbish. You, you know, all the things that you hate about your community, you, you, you don't want to look at them, but you don't want to do anything about them. You're waiting for the, for the municipality to come and do something for you. Yes, they will come, but I want to, you to also be fully conscious of the fact that they do not have the resources to actually come and do what you want them to come and do. So how long are you gonna wait? Five years, 10 years? 20 years before it happens. No, 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 no. No, no, no. And here's the reason why you are the right person to actually come out and lead.